Hola amigos. It's Monday. Oh, I had a horrible like sleep yesterday, so I look. Anyways, are you guys sleeping weird too? Uh, I think I want to. Uh, 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 since how do you call it? Senses senses us. <laughs> Um, something is kind of interesting because, <clears throat> um, I had channeled messages, um, while I was sleeping and I didn't ask the channel. I didn't, it was almost like I was bombarded by a uh, jibber jabber and the jibber jabber told me that <clears throat> there was a divine council and I was like, a lot of times when I do these messages and I keep telling people there's a divine source or there is a, a channeling it's really coming from this entity called the divine council and I have a link below yay I'm validated <clears throat> because I was accused of being on something the other day and it's funny because I'm led by spirit and I'm just gonna keep on posting and keep on talking and yes so the link below has a description and it has bible references because people don't think the divine council is it i mean there's religion and there's um spirit realms and all of that it, it's mystery school <clears throat> so there's some clarity to all this and my intention is to figure out how all of this bridges together because it's been segregated intentionally to keep us all messed up and the more we can integrate all of this the more sense it will make i'm on a project too where i'm trying to figure out who these greek characters were in the hebrew uh interpretation and also in the um, astral uh, interpretation. Uh, astral meaning Anunnaki version of them. They were different versions of different people. And there are <clears throat> beings that channeled, let's say an Egyptian pharaoh channeled a higher self and a higher self got bombarded by uh, 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 a being, an Anunnaki. And so it, it's there's i'm trying to like talk crazy for a moment because if we don't go there then we won't we won't get out of here and we won't get our ascension process completed which i'm gonna talk about in a second but if we can say that there was some crossing and breeding and trading off of and even certain people that um were of the ego and then they traded and went to the serpent or they were part of Venus and <clears throat> from Venus took off into the Pleiades because something happened on Venus, not sure. And you have um, one of the Pleiades being Lucifer leaving the Pleiades, going to the side of the ego and then sabotaging everyone and going to the side of the serpent. This is all from a vision, believe it or not. Pretty far out, dude. So. I will be explaining that on paper with pictures. I'm still trying to put it together. Because um, <clears throat> I'm trying... I, I think what threw me off on my last video was... I had pointed Moses to Thor and it was a boo-boo. Because um, Moses was just a mortal with intelligence. But um, where did he get the intel from? And what the lightning was going on, Thor. And so that's what pointed me to... Uh, Lucifer being Jupiter being uh, Thor but anyone and everyone kicked out of heaven it really was uh, of different causes different reasons I'm um, sorry I'm being distracted by something you ever think that helicopters follow you when you're recording these YouTube videos <laughs> anyway I don't care snoop all you want I'm a truther um but yeah, going back to my main topic, which was um, really about the dreams and sleeping weird and the ascension process, I, I got a message from what they call the Divine Council of 35, and I really do not know what that means. I have to do more homework. It's just, I work full time, 
And my full-time work involves my body and labor. I do health, wellness, uh, personal training, group exercise. So it's really difficult to like find the stamina to do the actual homework and back up a lot of what I'm saying. I can only go off of faith. And I know the people who are most attracted to this are led to me. They believe too because they're led by faith. <clears throat> um, and if you go back to biblical reference, there are those who are led by sight because that, that's what they're to do. Um, and because they didn't have the faith or their bloodlines didn't have the faith before. So they have to go through this karmic cycle of sight while we go through karmic cycle of faith. Because apparently we did see a lot if we did exist in the past. So the Divine Council of 35... Um, I'm trying to dig more, but here's a head start for you guys to look below. There's a link to someone who actually um, had took scripture and compiled them, and it can validate our conscious reality, our Christ conscious shift, and knowing that we're not crazy and there aren't voices in our head, that there is a council. But I do think that there's another galaxy, <clears throat> and my my great dear friend Carmela she actually piggybacked on this too that I think we're being interrupted by another um, universal body or, or a galaxy or there are people who are kind of interfering and they're not supposed to be telling us our information of our future because it alters the future when you know something the here now is where we are and the here now is where we're to stay but then when you have people intervene and they're not celestial angelic beings or from Jesus himself or not of the Christ conscious, you have to be careful. And it's not saying, oh, you have to be religious about it. It's just saying that there's only one ascended master who went back to where he came from. And there are several of us who resonate with that going back to this. So if you have people who are not from there who are telling you and guiding you, um, <laughs> they're trying to get you to go somewhere else is what I'm trying to say in, in a crazy long story short and so you have to be mindful of your soul contracts and your timelines and also in this physical consciousness how does it make sense so <clears throat> this is also why I tell people don't do yoga because if someone's not aware, like if it were me teaching a yoga class, I would understand, I would understand me as a teacher because I am who I am and I'm cuckoo. But I also know about Eastern transcendental uh, practices. I know about opening chakras. I know about ditching your chakras, which is horrible. Don't ever do that. Um, I know about the Sun Ra system. I know about the voodoo system of the Agile Neil. Um, which is the old tribe before the Hebrews and the Syrians, Assyrians. Um, so because I really study a lot of the past, it really has a great position of who I am and where I stand now. Um, and then there's revealings of my bloodlines and people who told me about past lives. If you were to entertain that, I still struggle with it, but... If you were to entertain it, um, I've been given three different um, things in the past. And I'm like, whoa, snap. So I can now, in a conscious mind, say, be mindful, be careful of what you're tapping into because they have attachments to other things that are beyond your strength. And people think they're strong and this and that, but if you can't call on the divine consciousness of the one ascended master who went from our physical conscious reality to an astral realm state back here rose from the dead then you have no business you know <laughs> you know uh, mocking or even denying uh, the truth um, I went off on the deep end there but a lot of you who follow me really resonate with what I'm saying and thank you for that I really appreciate all you all very much and it doesn't really matter about having a big channel of thousands of followers and whatnot these messages have to come out because it is in my contract and uh, <clears throat> I have a contract of mystery reveal 
And the last mystery that I was revealed was there was a Council of 35. Council of the Divine 35, or the Divine 35 Council. So let's do our homework. I'll touch bases with you all again. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Hang on tight because the next few videos are going to be way far out there. We're going to be um, comparing um, the big leaguers of Greek mythology, who they were as um, uh, Sumerians or even Mesopotamian culture, and who was manipulated by the Anunnaki Sun Brothers. To be continued. Bum, bum, bum. Bye. Have a great day.